Hello everyone, in this tutorial session we are going to set up Seaborn in Visual Studio Code. Let's understand a little bit about the Seaborn. Seaborn is a refined and built on the top of the Python's core visualization library matplotlib. However, Seaborn has a many important features. It comes with a built-in theme for styling the matplotlib graphics. But I am going to focus here for the installation. Let's look into that. So there are some required dependencies. First check if you have a Python 3.6 plus version which is required. And the second dependency is NumPy, third one is SciPy, fourth is Pandas and fifth is Matplotlib. And all these four dependencies will be installed with this Seaborn. If you have already on your Visual Studio code then this is fine. If you don't have don't need to worry about it. We will install it with the Seaborn. So guys, let's look into the installation in Visual Studio Code. So let me take you inside VS Code. So this is my VS Code. Now on the top menu item, click Terminal and now click here, New Terminal. So at this place, now you have to type simple command, PIP install Seaborn, press Enter. And make sure you are connected with the internet and now you will see uh, this will start downloading the relevant packages as I have shown you on the text pad these are the packages which will first download on your system then the installation will begin you can see numpy scipy pandas matplotlib and the seaboard and you will see such kind of message installing collected packages this will take two to four minutes for the complete installation after that we will do a test run we will see everything is set up properly or not so guys you will see the message successfully installed matplotlib numpy panda scipy and the seaborn if you have these packages already installed then this will be updated now it's time to uh, write a sample code for the test run so this is the folder which i have created on the desktop and uh, i have just uh, opened here now I will create a one Python file with the help of this create new file icon and the file is created. Now we need a sample code to test the setup. So this is the uh, simple uh, uh, plot creation uh, code. So I have just pasted here. You can see at the line number one we have an import statement for the matplotlib at line number second we are using Seaborn. With the help of sns.load dataset, we are loading one of the data set, which is penguins and uh, we are creating a joint plot. At line number 6, we are just showing that plot. Now we have just saved this file, go do the right click and run this file. Within few seconds, we will see a graph plot on the screen. Here we go, we found this. So guys, you can see this plot is just created. But we are not getting any style because we have missed one statement. So if you want a background grid style, you have to add one statement just below the line number four. SNS.set style double quotes dark grid. Now save for the file, run it. And this is the, the graph plot. You can see we have the dark grid lines on this plot and uh, we have a lot more options for the customization and styling of this graph plot in Seaborn. So guys this is the process you can set up the Seaborn and you can start developing your project in the Visual Studio Code. I hope you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and guys for now thanks for watching. Cool IT help.